know everybody, is this my third x 12 video in a row? Yes, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're still milking it. Everybody, yes, you know the all new X-Plane 12 that came out just this week? It brought many features, many new airplanes, as you can see, this A330, for example, or volumetric clouds, right? Many improvements, but still some people are quite a bit disappointed by it, especially when it comes to, well, scenery. Because, well, scenery-wise, X-Plane 12 really just still cannot compete with, for example, Microsoft Flight Simulator. In fact, it does kind of look like FSX, doesn't it? It's, uh, it? It does look like 2006, which is a shame. I mean, this really doesn't look all too great. But wouldn't it look better like this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yes, everybody, doesn't this look a whole lot better indeed? Yes. Yes, of course, everybody, there is a way to add satellite scenery to the X-Plane Flight Simulator. It is not easy, but it is totally possible and it works quite well. For example, the trees are, of course, animated here as well. That's very good. And everybody, in today's video, I would like to show you how to do this, everybody. And well, everybody, today we're gonna use a tool called Ortho for XP. That's what we've been using for years to add satellite scenery, to download satellite scenery to the X-Plane Flight Simulator. And the thing is, it's really not easy to use. But yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a tutorial. First of all, you go and download the Ortho for XP. I would very much, very much recommend downloading the Dropbox release right here. You can just uh, download the source code. This is really not easy. There we go. This is the one that I'm talking about. I'm going to actually try to leave the link to this in the description. All right, here we go. Time to open the file now. And this is where we get the Ortho for XP folder with all the stuff here. Now, pretty much the only thing you will need here is go, you can go to the bin and then you have your software here, Ortho for XP. Indeed, you know, just press extract all to get it done properly and all that stuff. Here, here we go. <clears throat> this is a very bad tutorial. Anyway, once you have that done, everybody, this is all you need. Go to bin again, open this software. And here you go, this is now your tool to download Ortho Scenery. I'm just gonna show you how I download my scenery. This is probably very bad. Anyway, something you definitely need is the Earth Tile Map. Here we go, and this is where you can select what satellite scenery you want to download, which part of the world, right? You can select tiles, right? It's really just latitude and longitude tiles, as you can see right here. It's very small parts of the world. You can practically download the whole world by just selecting all tiles and stuff. Anyway, let's select a little bit of a region to download. You know, I was thinking, for example, Key West here. You know, down Florida. I mean, this is what it looks like in default X-Plane. That's what I was talking about. This desperately looks like FSX, doesn't it? It's kind of sad. Anyway, that's great. You're, you select your region properly by pressing shift and then pressing on your mouse just so that these dots here show up that's important and then you select your provider and zoom level the zoom level basically defines how much resolution your scenery will have the higher the number the bigger the resolution i always go for zoom level 17 because that one has a very nice resolution to size ratio and yeah here are your sources basically satellite sources my go to rbi you can check whether the source is proper and all that stuff with the uh, um with this tool here view paragraphs you can preview stuff like airports for example see we're downloading key west we can check the bi source that we're about to download from check if this all looks good and really does here in the caribbean very nice anyway let's get this closed and that's pretty much all you need to do all this is not too important something you have to do though is check overlays this is important for trees and all that stuff and houses to show up you know otherwise your scenery is going to be empty what are you going to do for this it's just you're going to select your main x-plane 12 folder and then go to global scenery and then select this folder right here the x-plane 12 global scenery and that's pretty much all you need to do this by the way swiss Air one top tip now Sometimes when you install Ortho for XP, it doesn't have a folder called TMP, this one. If that one is missing, just add that. That is just important for the install, it needs that. But other than that, you just that's all we basically need to do. Yeah, this is, a, this is a bit complicated, the software indeed. But basically now, all you have to do after selecting your overlay and your zoom level, is just um, build your scenery. So you just select this one here, build masks, build overlays, again the trees, and just press batch build and here we go as you can tell the download process has started 
So it's doing interesting things like reading out all the airports that are added in, all that stuff. Now, downloading your scenery might just take a while, I expect, especially after this video. Lots of people are going to try to download this Ortho 4 XP. I'll, I'll be honest, right? It's probably going to break the servers. So uh, first of all, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I have. <clears throat> Great. Hmm. All right. Now, around um, five minutes later, we're back. This definitely didn't take too long because in the scenery, of course, we have lots of waters. If we were to download, you know, for example, like mountains, for example, you'd of course have way more scenery that had to be downloaded. You know what I mean? That can take up to like 30 minutes with the 17 resolution. Anyway, it is time now to move on. We're now back in the Ortho 4 XP folder, which is, by the way, something I would um, recommend pinning here. Now you've got a few more stuffs. You have your overlays. That one, you're going to simply copy over to your custom scenery of X-Plane 12. And then it's time to get to tiles here. And this is where you find your freshly downloaded scenery. Now it's time, of course, to put that into your custom scenery. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Just open X-Plane 12 right here. And then when it's open, immediately quit it again. <laughs> because then you have to go into your custom scenery folder. Open this file called scenery packs. And this is a bit specific. You have to put the overlays on top of your satellite scenery here in this list. This is just going to make sure that the trees and stuff actually appear. There we go. Save it. And that's all you need to do, really. Now, the only thing left to do is spawn in to uh, Key West. How about that? All right, let's actually check this. I hope this worked. All right, here we go. Okay, that has actually worked. Welcome to Key West. But now it actually looks quite all right. It definitely looks better. Like, for example, just things like, you know, the beach looks quite nice, considering this didn't take too long to download. And only taking the 17 resolution, this could be way more resolutionary. This is quite all right. Something that is, of course, missing, though, and this is where we come to the problems of this kind of scenery upgrade, is proper buildings. You know, Microsoft, you know, uses their Bing Maps, 3D Maps, to just implement boot... You're just basically flying in Bing Maps. Uses AI very nicely to demonstrate the buildings. We don't have that here. I don't think this is how the city of Key West properly looks like. That is something that still is missing. Hmm. Something else that is, of course, a big problem is the space you're using. I mean, guess how much space the scenery that we just downloaded here for Key West takes? Properties? It's a gigabyte. Honestly, that's not as much as I remember. That's not that bad. You don't have that in Microsoft with your cloud streaming, obviously. This one, I think, though, is a nice solution, of course, for free. All right, now I've also prepared a little bit of another example right here now in the Alpine Mountains. This plane, I haven't turned on the engine, so it's kind of kind of crashing right now. Anyway, this is a bit of a good example of what the Alpine Mountains could look like. Um, not all too great. I mean, the trees are still there, our good old 3D trees. But something that I always have issues with is this scenery blending. Like, look, 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 look at this. I don't know why, but this, this just looks strange. Microsoft just doesn't have imperfections like you would have here. But this is what this would look like. This is in a better resolution now, a little bit closer now to the mountain. I think I selected around 18 here. And this is really where it gets a little bit more fun right here. I mean, how much is this folder? 17 gigabytes just for a small region here which doesn't even have any airports in it. A little, little pass. Look at this, Lamal. Yeah, it's, it's still not great. Also, you have to fight a lot with clouds being in the scenery. Yeah, this is still not a perfect solution, but damn, this looks quite a lot nicer now. I can imagine. Yes, here we go. Adding some volumetric clouds really does do more of the trick. This looks a bit nicer. The lighting is a bit strange. Oh, we've got, I got some rain here as well. This is very, very nice, but a major drawback is of course, winter time. This is a new feature of X-Plane 12, adding snow, but that is gonna be missing, you know, once you install your scenery. So you'd have to uninstall it, drag it out of your folder in order for snow to work. Yep, this is, this is what winter should look like. It, I've just turned snow on, by the way. So yeah. Yeah, this, this is not all too great. So yes, everybody, satellite scenery for X-Plane. This definitely looks a whole lot better. I mean, we can get out of the scenery zone. This is what it would normally look like. Definitely not like a 2022, would it? Does downloading satellite scenery for the flight simulator improve the experience? Yes. Does it make the experience better than Microsoft Flight Simulator? No. Graphic wise, definitely still not. It cannot hold up. I mean, look at this. You could have this in even a bit of a better quality in Microsoft Flight Simulator without having to install 18 gigabytes. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.